Hello YouTube, this is Emmanuel5075 here bringing you a dual commentary with my friend DukeHunter601 and go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up? Glad to be here. Yeah, so this is my friend. We decided to do a dual commentary for the first time ever and this is actually the first time I'm showing Black Ops gameplay. Uh, I'm quick scoping with my friends on private match. And yeah. I came out on top first place and with a 360 at the end so yeah so we're gonna talk about the games that are gonna come out in the future like Black Ops 2, GTA 5, Resident Evil 6 and stuff like that so yeah so Noob Hunter what games are you interested in or looking forward to in the future? Uh, there's a whole list but you say you said basically my top three. Oh really? Of course Black Ops 2. Yep, of course, Black Ops 2, Resident Evil 6, Grand Theft Auto 5, Destiny 3, 3, Dead Space 3, the whole list. So, what do you like about the game so far, and what they shown? Well, well, for Black Ops 2, I like how it has, like, round-based um, domination, where there's two rounds of domination and stuff, and uh, mostly team deathmatch, and, uh, new, and hardpoint, which is basically, like, drop zone, but... On Modern Warfare 3 without the care packages and stuff, and you got to use kill streaks this time. Yeah, I'm actually happy about that too. They're actually changing the game a lot this year, and they're changing how. Like, this time it's not gonna be like a copy and paste. They're actually changing the game a lot this year, unlike Infinity Ward, which, yeah, Infinity Ward, you do copy and paste your games. Don't lie. Just look from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3. So yeah, enough said. Well, anyways, Modern Warfare 3, to be honest, ended up as a terrible game. Like, it has too many campers, it had too much lag, all the lag compensation was horrible, and you know how you shoot people and then they end up killing you, and then when you watch the kill cam, you're actually one second behind? Have you ever experienced, like, have you ever saw that, Luke Hunter? Yeah, like, I'll be like, like, chasing somebody, then as, like, I shoot them, but then, like, I didn't really shoot them, but as I'm walking, chasing them, but then it's, like, stops me in my spot, please, I was going, and then, like, it gets me up a little bit, then it, like, after it finish, it shows the kill cam of that person killing me. Yeah, it happens, like, a person like, it happens to me. everybody. It's not just, like, one person, because the lag compensation is the reason why that happens all the time. Like, the person gets, like, one second ahead of you, and you're, like, one second behind. And then when you're shooting them, they end up killing you, and then the kill cam, when you see yourself, you're not shooting them at all. Because you weren't, like, one second behind. That's, like, before you were shooting them, which is, like, the lag compensation that's doing that, which is bad. I hope they better, like, they better fix that for the future games that are coming out. But I kind of doubt it because it's kind of hard to get rid of lag, so, yeah. Well, anyways, let's talk about some GTA 5. Well, they released a lot of new screenshots this week, but they haven't really released any new information or, like, news and stuff like that. They haven't even released a new trailer, so, so... What are like your opinions about the game, Noob Hunter? Yeah, it seems like it's gonna be a good game. Like you know, I've seen like a couple of screenshots. Like it has some pretty nice cars and stuff. But like, of course they're not gonna release them yet, cause like probably nowhere near the release date is supposed to come out and stuff. They all wanna release like reveal so much stuff about it. Yeah, cause they wanna keep it like a secret, and they wanna leave it for like a surprise when you actually play the game. So, when, like, when you start playing the game, you won't know, like, a lot about it. Like, unlike Call of Duty, they show you everything before the game. Unlike Rockstar, they don't show you that much. So, they just want to keep it a surprise. So, when you actually pick it up, you're not going to know anything about it, you know? Yeah. Like, I know how when you said, um, that with Call of Duty, they show, like, the campaign and multiplayer and stuff. That's like the same thing that like Capcom did with Resident Evil 6, like they showed a lot of gameplay up and how it is and stuff, but like for some things I think they should have like kept a secret. Like it was a, like it's three campaigns, but as you be all three of be one of them all three, you got to play another one which is Aidas, but I think they should have kept that a secret and let 
like everyone experienced it after they beat the full game. Yeah, like in Resident Evil 6, there they have like a similar thing to Call of Duty Elite, and you know what Battlefield has Battle Log. Well, Resident Evil 6 has Resident Evil .net, and that's actually very similar to COD Elite. And to be honest, though, I think they're actually trying to copy Call of Duty, because if you think about it, Resident Evil 6, and if you've seen all the gameplay, it's basically up all about the soldiers and like shooting and stuff like that. It's not really that scary, because I think they're trying to beat Call of Duty also. They're trying to compete, because even Capcom said it themselves. They're trying to compete with the big, um, with the big titles. So yeah. Yeah, I understand, like, I know, like, some people do be saying that, like, it's, like, similar to Call of Duty, but even though I'm not disagreeing with that, but I don't really care that much about how it is, I just, like, just like the game, how it looks and stuff. Yeah, like, Battlefield 3 tried to compete with Modern Warfare 3, but unfortunately it failed, and Modern Warfare 3, um, ended as a big success, and it was, like, the biggest, you know, game of the year. And it sold the most. It actually sold like six million copies the first day, and Battlefield Three sold ten million copies in one week. So yeah, that's a huge difference when you compare the the time. So yeah. So Noob Hunter, um, are there like any other games or, that are you like you know you are interested in you know playing? Yeah. Um... That's in Creed 3 and like Dead Space and 2K and be a 2K13. Oh yeah, those look like really great games. Cause there's actually has been like trailers, and if you've seen the trailers, those games look like epic. Like they like the graphics have been improved, the game mechanics have been better, and they have like more players. And and Assassin's Creed, um, they changed like the features. Like, you know how you can get to a different map in, like, five minutes riding a horse mm -hmm. and stuff like that? They changed mm -hmm. it now. They changed it so when you go to a different place, you have to go through a loading screen instead of just, like, ride, riding a horse to get there, you know? Because they said that it's, like, unrealistic to get to another city in five minutes because it was, like, too quick. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, so, yeah, that's actually a good move because... They want to make the game as realistic as possible, so, you know, you can't blame them. And the new games, like, um, you know, the, the new games next year, like Dead Space and all of them are coming out. They're actually games too, but it's not going to be after a while. Mm -hmm. You know, Dead Space 3, um, Crisis 3, all those games, they're good too, so, yeah. And this is the end of the gameplay right here. As you see, I 360 no scope them and I won. So yeah, that's the dual commentary for today. And yeah, it's been Emmanuel 5075 and Noob Hunter 601 here. And peace out. Peace.